today at the High Court in London, a representative for Alex Belfield read this statement. My lady, on behalf of Mr Belfield, I wish to associate myself with everything that has been said by counsel for the claimant. Mr Belfield never had any basis at all to make the false allegations of dishonesty against the claimant for which he was responsible, and nor was there any justification for his harassment of the claimant. He wishes to apologise unreservedly for the damage and distress caused to the claimant, and his reputation by his publications and express his profound and unreserved regret for all of the harm for which he is responsible. The defendant now accepts that contrary to the public stance which he has adopted for more than two years, including within these proceedings the defamatory and seriously harmful allegations of dishonesty which he has made against the claimants are entirely false. He also accepts that the publications for which he was responsible have been found to have amounted to unlawfully harassment of the claimant. My lady, the defendant is here today by his representative to withdraw the allegations of which the claimant has complained and to apologise publicly to the claimant for his campaign of defamation and harassment and for the upset and distress which it caused. He has also agreed to pay the claimant substantial damages as well as his legal costs and to give untaking subject to a penal notice in respect of future publications and conduct concerning the claimant. For all the victims of Alex Belfield, including Jeremy Vine and myself, today's statement is vindication. Although he was jailed for his crimes, Alex Belfield never showed any remorse or regret in a statement that he put out on the day of his sentencing, declaring that he'll be back. And as we know, I was sent to jail for stalking, two proper stalking and two half stalking, whatever that means. And they can punish me, they can send me away, they can gag, they can put restrictions, but they can't silence me. Uh, I sleep very well at night knowing who I am. I will never give in and I will come back bigger and stronger. I will be back. For a long time, many people supported and defended Alex Belfield, saying that he had done nothing wrong. That changes today. Despite his public persona, Jeremy Vine is an incredibly kind and sensitive man who, just like me, only wanted to stand up to a bully, somebody that we saw doing something terribly wrong. And both of us did it not just for ourselves, but for all the other victims, and especially for our own family, who got caught up in all of this. Found his mother. Like you so I had to take it seriously. I've got two teenage daughters. You know, I, I can't be casual about it. So at that point, I was scared for them. Although I'm really happy for Jeremy to have received this settlement and this apology, I have yet to receive mine. I instructed the same solicitor as Jeremy Vine to take out my civil case against Alex Belfield for harassment. Unlike Jeremy, Alex Belfield is refusing to settle my case. I don't have the privilege of a high income like Jeremy Vine, and having already spent £4,000 in legal fees, I'm struggling to continue this fight against Alex Belfield to get what I deserve. If you can help me, please watch this video and if you can share or donate to my campaign to raise money for my legal costs please please do the former bbc local radio presenter turned youtube truther alex belfield has been found guilty of four stalking charges against broadcasters Alex Belfield repeatedly harassed his victims via email and on social media in relation to the theatre blogger Philip Dehaney and the broadcaster Jeremy Vine. That little Dehaney mental fella, little bipolar kid who's one minute mincing on the uh, airwaves. Because if stalking someone is just saying hurty words about you online, then... It's not sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. This Philip Delaney 
what a low-life scumbag you are. A guy who's clearly mentally ill. The judge said Alex Belfield weaponized the internet. I sent him an email tonight. I found his mother. I don't know whether you know about what I'm talking about, but if you don't, I'd like you to. And if you're watching this, uh, I have been sent to jail. That was a lot, right? That was just a tip of the iceberg. Those are clips from videos that I will begin to upload on YouTube. I am Philip Dehaney, and I need your help. I was a theatre blogger and am now a volunteer for the Terence Higgins Trust. I need to raise money for legal fees, starting with £1,550, to claim compensation from ex-BBC presenter Alex Belfield, who harassed and stalked me, and then threatened he'd be back. And as we know, I was sent to jail for stalking, two proper stalking and two half stalking, whatever that means. And they can punish me, they can send me away, they can gag, they can put restrictions, but they can't silence me. Uh, I sleep very well at night knowing who I am. I will never give in and I will come back bigger and stronger. I will be back. I am one of several victims who were harassed by ex-BBC presenter Alex Belfield, which led to him being jailed for five and a half years. After his trial concluded, but before he was sentenced, Belfield publicly revealed information about my HIV status. He'd had a terrible time, and I told the court I felt bad that he had a lifelong condition, that his career had ended and he was living with his parents. I'm now claiming compensation from him in the civil courts under the Protection from Harassment Act 1997. Belfield's awful campaign of harassment against me, much of which was directed at my sexuality, continued even during and after his trial. We found out that Philip Dehaney had gone and had many of my videos removed that had any mention of him. We found out that most of them weren't taken down immediately and most of them weren't taken down at all, but he kept trying. He constantly published harassing videos about me and others and made a lot of money from YouTube advert revenue and by asking for donations from his followers. Philip Dehaney, who is the worst scumbag of all, who said that I made him want to commit suicide at a time he couldn't believe how many people were tweeting him and saying, oh, good for you, little Philip, like he's some lowly loser. Well, he is a lowly loser. That's proven by his stats. And of course, this was all virtue signaling to get attention on the back of my demise. This video is brought to you by our new sponsor, reactiveplus.com. If you're looking for full spectrum, five star golden standard CBD oils, capsules or vape, go to reactiveplus.com. Please help me. In the comment box below, the GoFundMe page, 100% refundable. If and when we win, I don't want to make a penny. I simply want to clear my name. The impact on me has been huge. My reputation has been seriously damaged and I lost my passion, confidence and an income as a theatre blogger. I'm now seeking therapy. And that, that's... <sighs> exactly what Alex Belfield is doing. He is perpetuating hate crimes and he's a cyber bully and Twitter and YouTube need to shut him down. They need to stop him because they just need to stop him. I have already spent over £4,000 and have to pay £1,500 for the work done to get to this stage. Unless Belfield agrees to settle with me, which seems very unlikely, I will have no choice but to issue court proceedings against him. And my costs for taking this all the way to trial could end up being £100,000. If you are able to help, donate, or share my story, please do. I have begun to upload evidence to my website, www.iamthat.uk. And I will continue to upload videos on YouTube until this matter is resolved. This is my chance to tell my side of the story and I will share everything with you about what happened to me. If you have any questions, please do ask. Thank you.